And now to power politics at City Hall. City Council trying to figure out how much power the mayor should have. ABC 7's Maria Garcia is live tonight with that story. Maria? Hi, Rick Anastella. The city is considering having a charter election. Now, the city charter is like a constitution. It tells us how the government should operate. But residents have to vote on any changes to that charter. And one of the changes the city council is considering, the role of the mayor. Right now, the mayor doesn't vote except to break ties. But some council members suggested the mayor should vote on all matters. Though if he gets that power, some council members want to strip away the mayor's power to veto. Mayor Oscar Leeser said his office is already weak. He says, for example, he couldn't even negotiate, it, negotiate with the firefighters union on city pay raises. But some city reps, like Emma Acosta, say that's the fault of state law, not the city charter. The mayor says the changes would make his office useless. You know, if we don't want to have a mayor, I think we ought to look at maybe not having a mayor in the city of El Paso and basically running a council and a city, city manager because I think we've made a very weak position and based on some of the things I'm looking at, it looks like council wants to make it for the future uh, a little bit weaker to, uh, which is kind of a, a bad deal. Most of the big cities in Texas have a mayor that votes that doesn't have the veto power. Am I right? How about Austin and San Antonio and Dallas? And I think that's correct. And it works well for them. The mayor says this isn't about power for him, but responsibility. A committee is exploring the charter changes that could come before voters. City Council would set the election date. Back to you. Okay, Maria, thank you.